The forest seemed quiet. No sign of life. Or deer. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You already did. Ah, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell shits. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. You, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me, and then pulled the trigger! I was helping Chloe after you threatened to cut her, remember? You know, you're lucky all I brought was a knife. Otherwise, you and your girlfriend wouldn't even be bothering me. You really think you're tough shit, girly. I just... I didn't know what I was doing. Dude, get off her ass! She was protecting me. You've got a knife and God knows what else. Are you really afraid of Max here? I'm not afraid of anybody except my maker. And you little bitches think you can outsmart me? Why, because I'm trailer trash? You're Blackwell trash, and it's time to take you out. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Set the fuck back now! <laughs> Pompidou! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! Oh no! Chloe... I just shot a man, and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. 
I'm sorry. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And only I can change it. Chloe, are you okay? I'm sorry, I, it, I keep seeing Frank dead. And I'm the one who killed him. Listen, you saved my life and yours. We have to keep going forward. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Frank to figure out the code names in the account book. I must have missed something. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Treading water, Otter. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers... This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he... There's a lot of numbers in here. This pin code a whack. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. You locked it, dumbass. Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. 
You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Does David know what's going on with Rachel or is he just paranoid about everybody? Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Spies are us. And that's all she wrote. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Huh. Who else was David tracking here? There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. I'm glad Warren got his revenge. The license plate photos. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, I, I need you to go online and help me decipher this. Chloe? Chloe. Chloe, please listen. I know this is awful, but we're in it together, okay? I didn't have your back and I let you down. Please don't cry. Max, I'm, I'm gonna go to the police after we find Rachel. I can't live keeping this a secret and I don't wanna be a teenage fugitive on the run and, and dude, I swear I, I won't even mention you, okay? This is all me. Chloe, it was self-defense. I know you're hurting, but you have to just block out everything and keep moving forward. Rachel is waiting. <sighs> okay, you're right. Focus on Rachel. It's all about Rachel now. Okay. We will. And I know this week has been so weird and fucked up, but Chloe, I, this has to be our destiny. Or at least one of them. Let's just find out where this is all going to end, okay? For Rachel. For Kate. And for Frank. He was dragged into this bullshit, too. That's my Chloe. Now let's be a lean, mean research team. You have to go online and help decipher these coordinates. Because they might finally lead us to Rachel. Here we come, Rachel.
Thanks, Chloe. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Max, there is no logical link between those clues. Max, just match the right text message with the right account book entry. Then you'll finally discover where Nathan took Kate. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. So Chloe and me actually killed somebody. What happens to us now? 